Hi everyone! So this is the look that I'm doing today. It is a Psychobilly inspired look. Um, if you're not sure what Psychobilly is, it's um, kind of a... it's derived from Rockabilly. And Rockabilly kind of originated when Elvis Presley was doing his early rock music. And Psychobilly is more punk inspired, but it's kind of... it came... like the fashion is still Rockabilly, but it's just a little bit more crazy, I think. Not so classic. Um, yeah, and I got a new piercing, a Medusa. I think I'm going to retire my side lip, and uh, so maybe in the next tutorial or two you'll see it disappear. And yeah, did anybody see Lost? Oh my gosh, it's hard for me to move on. I still haven't deleted it because I don't want to say goodbye to six years of my life that I've devoted to watching Lost. <laughs> Is that a little bit sad? I don't know. But, you know, I was a huge Lost fanatic. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get this tutorial started. So I already applied Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and now I'm going to take this Gosh Waterproof Shadow Stick and apply it to my lid. I'm just going to blend it up to the crease. I also applied the Gosh Waterproof Shadow Stick on the inner corner of my eye, and now I'm going to take this small paddle brush here, and I'm going to apply Max Bright Fuchsia to my lid up to the crease right there. I pressed it. There's uh, the loose pigment actually. Now this pigment gets everywhere and it's pretty much impossible to remove without removing all your foundation since I already applied everything beforehand. Um, so I'm just going to carefully press this into my eyelid and hopefully I will get the least amount of possible fallout Now I'm taking Max 226 crease brush here and I'm going to take Max push the edge which is this purple down here it's pigment and I'm going to uh, pat that into the crease and then blend it up and into the bright fuchsia Next I'm going to take Max Contrast, which is a navy blue color, and I'm going to apply that into the crease. Now I'm going to take the smudger brush and I'm going to apply the contrast to the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the Coastal Sands 88 palette and take this color here and I'm going to use that as my brow highlight. And I'm just going to go in with Max Frozen White pigment, which I also pressed. I went on a big pressing spree here, so I'm just going to take that and highlight the inner corners of my eye. Now I'm going to go in with the coal liner and line my waterline and my tight line, my upper waterline. So I have a new favorite eyeliner. This is the Ben Nye Cake Liner in black. It's not really new. I've had it around for a long time, but I just never really used it. And I actually really like it. It's different from the L'Oreal uh, Liner Intense just because it is a matte black. And Liner Intense is a little bit more shiny. I I find. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Fix Plus in there and then I'm going to do quite a dramatic cat eye.
Okay, so now I'm just going to apply my eyebrows and my eyelashes and my blush and I'll be back to show you how I do my lips. So the first thing I did is I applied this fuchsia lip liner to my lips. I lined them and then I filled them in. You have to excuse my lips because they're super dry because of Accutane. Um, now I'm going to take this synthetic brush and I am going to apply Max Push the Edge Pigment to the outside of my lips. So I'm just going to line them, fill it in, except for the center parts here. So I wiped off my brush and now I'm going to apply Max Bright Fuchsia to the areas where I have not applied any pigment yet. Now I'm going to take Max Fantabulous dazzle glass and I'm just going to apply a small coat of that on top. I'm just going to use my fingers. I would also use like a clear coat but I don't have, I don't have a clear gloss. Isn't that crazy? Who doesn't have a clear gloss? So this is the finished look. It's a very pink and purple look. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you later.